When the walls fell And the hungry child Cried out for help Did you hear the sound? Did your heart break? Does your heart break now? I remember pointing to the television set, I said, the world just changed. When it was happening, it was like, th th this can't be happening. Uh, there's no way. Yeah, we were actually up in the air uh, flying. They told us to land immediately, which we did, and uh, started watching the television at the airport where we landed and uh, saw what was taking place. And, uh, and of course, we knew at that time you know, that we were you know, watching something that uh, had never been seen before in modern times. I was a sophomore at, here at Liberty. Buildings were being destroyed and it sounded very intentional. It was very scary and very shocking. My son at that point worked uh, right outside of DC and he had had to go into the city and suddenly it became extremely personal. We were all scared and afraid. We didn't know what to do. People cancel classes because they felt like it. Wow, God, what's going on? And just the questions, so many questions. Why? Why, why there? But the World Trade Centers, that's, that's civilian people. Why do you attack civilians? But all you can see anywhere uh, on television all the rest of the day, time and time and time again, the tower's coming down, the tower's coming down. The world is burning As you stand by are you watching as your children die the students were the ones to say we need to pray right now and all of a sudden daughter and I said this is not a time to teach I said this is a time to pray we talked about in every class do you who has a family member that's been effective, okay, how can we pray for that particular family member and, or friend? Around the university, everybody, I think, was praying those days uh, because you just didn't know, and it just brought a lot of question. Uh, we saw that throughout the whole country. A lot of people all of a sudden realizing that uh, returning to the Lord, returning to God. I remember at 2 p.m., they canceled classes and they called all the student body, faculty, and staff into the Vine Center to meet for prayer. I remember seeing Dr. Falwell, behind him were the uh, representative from the Sheriff's Office, OUPD, and they wanted a time of prayer. It was scary for students because they're not able to call their parents. It was, we became their support system. I had many students come to me and just want to talk. Why, why? They wanted biblical answers, but really they needed a hug. They, they really just needed assurance that God is in control. When we go through a tragedy or a situation, or, you know, I've just been studying about the Apostle Paul and his shipwreck and all the things that he went through, what did that do? Did that discourage him in his faith? No, it brought him closer and stronger in his faith. So that's one reason that you want to develop your faith, so that you can let go and let God take care of you. And that, that feeling of, God's gonna handle this. I don't have to handle it. Through that event, our trust in God 
grew more. And you need those punctuated moments to teach you that God is always in control. And if you trust in Him, He can bring hope, He can bring the beauty from ashes, and um, there will be a time you can rejoice again. You'll remember September 11. And while we do not know the fallout from it or the, or the things that are yet to come, we do know that immediately on that day here in Lynchburg, Virginia, we recognize that God and God alone is our source. God and God alone is our help.